Hello everyone, welcome to EduTab. This is the 5 minute series and the topic for today is concept of forestry and it is part of your NABAR Grade 8 2021 syllabus. To our new audience, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also join our Telegram channel to get the PDF of this particular lecture and every lecture that we provide in YouTube. And currently we are offering 40% off on our NABAR Grade 8 2021 course and uh, to avail this offer you have to use the code now at 40 and do remember that this is valid till 10th of September 2021 so before understanding what are the different concepts that has that is the part of your examination uh, let's first understand what is forestry right so forest forestry it can be termed as science and art why why science because it needs certain um, principles to follow and by art because uh, it ta it takes skills to follow those rules right so it is an science and an art for what uh, initially or the first step to create a forest right first you will create a uh, create then second step will be you will manage the forest right then the third step would be if there is some damage over there then you will repair it so that is the third step and then fourth and ultimate is to um, conserve the forest so when you create manage uh, you repair and then you conserve the forest it, the particular term it is known as forestry and that too in a systematic manner it is not like that uh, you can do whatever in whatever style you want there should be a system system present there so that is known as what that is known as a, a forestry and so it includes both thinking also because first you need to think that how you have to implement the things and then you finally implement so it is all thinking and actions okay so uh, I hope this forestry is clear to you all now there are different terms or concepts that are associated with it uh, we'll study about them one by one so first one is the social forestry so as the name suggests it, it has to do something with the society right so social forestry is when the society itself it uh, thinks to or it uh, yeah, it thinks to create a forest around itself uh, that could be uh, due to different reasons uh, it could be uh, due to recreational purpose if they want shade in that particular area or whatever uh, when uh, they themselves come forward to create a forest around themselves or to uh, for the purpose of a forestation right uh, that is also one of the reason that if there are very less forest there and they want to grow more so a forestation due to this reason or whatever reason when the society come forward it is known as uh, it is known as social forestry okay and uh, it can be further divided into three terms uh, that could be community community would be normal when community they uh, they uh, plant the trees uh, of their requirements see in social forestry one important thing is that growing forest of the choice of the local population so whatever the people they prefer that kind of forest uh, that type of trees they grow so for is the community next comes the farm forest in farm forestry nothing but the when the farmer uh, they cultivate or they plant trees uh, in the f uh, tree in the fields it is known as farm forestry this could be if they want shade probably shade uh, if they want to sit down during intercultural operation or due to different reasons whatever that is known as farm farm forestry and then comes the extension forest extension forestry could be something like uh, planting trees across a railway line right so that is something uh, is known as extension forestry so yeah that is one thing and now what could be the objective see in different places the objective could be different if we go for rural areas that could be done for uh, to get fuel uh, fuel wood supply or that could be used for small timber supply timber is what whatever wood that we used for our own purpose for example making furniture or whatever commercial purpose that we use is known as timber apart from that it can be the forest can be used for fodder if it in case of these can be used in the case of rural areas but in urban areas we won't be dependent on the uh, on fuel or timber or fodder uh, right so in urban areas it can be used for the recreational purpose recreational means to have fun okay uh, so yeah so recreational purpose it can be used for that so this is the term uh, social forestry means next comes the agroforestry okay agro means agriculture if you segregate the term it means agriculture and forestry is nothing but the forestry right so what is this when uh, we cultivate crops along uh, 
uh, with the trees, right? Or you can say in the areas where already trees exist, forests exist, and you're uh, cultivating crops there, it is known as what? It is known as agroforestry. And why is it done? It is done for the proper management of the land and for to have proper productivity. Because if they see if the space uh, if the area is left there, the space is left in between, you can cultivate crops, right? It gives you additional income. So this is what the term agroforestry means. Okay. Now, what can be the different objectives? Uh, first is to manage land efficiently because there is a lot of, la lot of land left in between the trees. You can, man uh, you can manage that to use available resources because there are many resources that are available but get wasted because in forest, usually nothing... Uh, we cultivate nothing right but there are so resources available so we can utilize them to generate employment opportunities if uh, as you can look in the picture uh, you need labor if you're growing if you're cultivating crops for different agricultural uh, practices intercultural operations so uh, employment could generate uh, it would also uh, help to raise the production of food crops because now the land is less and the people are more we have to fulfill the needs that is what can be used for that and not only that but for vegetables for pulses or milk or meat purpose we can use it so when we use livestock also the, the term goes agroforestry only because agro means agriculture uh, that is a broader concept okay because agriculture is uh, everything it, it involves animals also it involves plants also so in broader term we say when we say agroforestry we say okay agriculture and forest and uh, animals they are part of it okay now next term it comes joint forest management okay so what is this joint forest man management see it is basically when both the forest department that is the government and the local community they come forward they work together for the preservation of the forest it is the term is known as joint forest management okay so how it goes uh, local community they are assigned this task uh, uh, that uh, you have to protect and manage the nearby forest which uh, whatever is around you and in return they are given some liberty because see in forest uh, you cannot just uh, go and cut down trees or uh, branches or whatsoever there are some limitations right but these villagers they they are uh, exempted from this re these restrictions because they are in return protecting the forest they will help the forest department to look after that uh, no uh, uh, means nothing wrong is done in that forest uh, or, or illegal activities right uh, like illegal cutting of the trees or poaching uh, of animals right uh, things like such so this is a joint venture that is joint forest management and this concept it was introduced by government of india uh, through the national forest policy of 1988 do remember this so when this national forest policy came in 1988 so this concept was introduced so in this uh, various protection committees are made uh, of the villagers and village forest committees are made and then there are village forest conservation and development societies so many such things are made uh, for the protection of forest okay so these are the broader uh, terms uh, that uh, that are part of your slavers and that is why we have covered and uh, I hope you get the topic and uh, we'll come again with another topic until then all the best for your examination thank you so much